what's going on guys welcome back to another reaction in today's video we are kind of not to copy soul connections concept but we are discovering chung ha for the very first time on this channel i'm very excited she's been mentioned quite a few times throughout my time on this channel and uh, before actually checking out her comeback i figured it would be a decent idea to check out another song and do a double reaction and the song that was mentioned the most was or the song that really caught my eye is a song called Bicycle. Uh, judging by this first frame, this is probably not the same bicycle that Freddie Mercury wanted to ride and Bicycle Race by Quinn. We're gonna check out this music video, gonna have a first and second reaction to both music videos. First of all, just check it out, enjoy the music, and then kind of uh, try to see if there's anything interesting about the lyrics and the visuals on our second watch. So without any further ado, if you guys enjoyed this content, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, check out the Patreon if you want to not only support this channel, keep this channel going, but also see some exclusive reactions. And let's get into it. Okay, there, there's got to be a little bit more than just uh, uh, a sexual type of metaphor. We're, we're going to talk about it later, but it just kind of uh, threw me off a little bit. Let's take it back just a little bit. Uh, she is absolutely hypnotizing with that black uh, outfit and the hat. She's absolutely gorgeous. And the vocal melodies are, are incredible. Uh, let's uh, let's get back into it. Oh, this is a... There's something so trippy about this chorus. The way she almost like excels during some phrases. Is This is trippy as well. Get on my bike, let's go. That sound is. the aspect ratio changes oh. Man, the 
connection is crazy. Back to the courts. I will say that the dance break and her kind of being in the water is, is very suggestive to, you know, uh, you know, but this is, that chorus was so freaking addicting. The visuals here, the aesthetics of this music video is, is, is absolutely beautiful. She's fen phenomenal. Holy shit. That is so different from the teasers that I've seen for her upcoming music video, the one that was just released, uh, Sparkling. This is kind of crazy. So um, let's take it back and let's see if we can find something interesting. Like I need another reason to check this music video out. <laughs> I don't know if this is her usual style. I don't know if because the teasers that I've seen for uh, Sparkling suggest a completely different vibe. This seems like a if I didn't know any better, this would seem like a departure from whatever style she's used to doing. But the way she still managed to pull this off in a way to make me feel like this is just another Tuesday for her is very, very cool. The beginning that we just saw now, like almost like cells and it's like some some electricity inside of her you know behind her eyes and everything just uh all senses are kind of tingling as she's in in that the more i'll talk about this video the more creepy it'll get so for that reason i'm going to uh kind of shut down the part of me that wants to uh talk about how suggestive this song could be because it's already pretty freaking obvious. So let's see if we can find another meaning. Because the only interesting part is that, you know, it's it's a song about like bicycle, but it doesn't go vroom vroom, like she says in the lyrics. So uh, that that's the only thing that kind of is a little bit interesting. But overall... Okay, here's the thing that kind of saves me from thinking that this is suggestive as hell, like the gazes, do it my way, tear it up, and literally saying filthy gazes don't mind them. There, there's got to be more than just, you know, uh, a suggestive theme for this music video. At least that's kind of like, you know, I would feel a little bit less creepy uh, if I talked about that rather than some things that may be pretty freaking obvious. So just uh, go kind of like her essentially kind of going on this... Uh, bicycle and going her way no matter what doing her thing maybe doing this different type of uh, song or maybe doing this despite of everything that uh, those filthy gazes will represent as far as you know what other people will say just uh, do me and but not in that way do do what i want to do and uh tear it up not in that way though but you know metaphorically That part is just 
That's squeak that she does. It's very, very cool. And goes like broom, broom, broom is kind of interesting because that's not how bicycles work. Unless she has some futuristic bicycle, which it does seem that way and that later in this video. So she essentially just does whatever she wants to do and whatever she needs to do to get on top. Pause. Not what I meant. Not in that way. Just get out of my way as far as, you know, uh, if you get in my way, you'll get crushed. Because I'm doing this no matter what. Kind of like uh, showing her Queen B side, so to speak. Uh, kind of to throw it back to like uh, Wasa, I'm a B, but B is also shining light and whatnot. But having like this duality, which is pretty cool. And I'm probably going a little bit too far into it. Uh, but I still kind of like it. Also, there's like these flyers that are flying around. Very smart. Flyers are flying. <laughs> There was a wanted flyer. She's wanted. Or she wants. That literally shows duality, right? Sweat dripping down my back and ice decorating my neck as in diamonds. That's a cool uh, touch. Uh, the wrapping actually is, is very cool. I don't know how well she's known for rapping. There's some lyrics that I don't even want to really talk about because I'll sound a little bit creepy. So let's just uh, move on. Write it, I write it. Give me that. My sweat dripping down my back. I got ice decorating my neck. The strongest thing, don't miss it. Cause I'm the baddest queen, I'm sicker than all them. Gossiping Lokis don't bring me no fun. Gossiping Lokis don't bring me no fun. So literally getting her on her bike is like going on pedal to the metal, even though it's kind of hard to do to go too fast with a bicycle, but uh it's still kind of like the actual meaning is not caring about, you know, the gossip, the the things that don't really do much fun for me as far as haters and whatnot and literally focusing on me and just uh being the baddest bitch uh is kind of what i'm getting uh apart from some obvious other things uh that i'm not gonna mention come on i'll slave from tip of my tongue oh. you wanna also know those were the dancers okay my bad watch me ride i'm up here say yeah 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 She's literally just unleashing her wild side. I love that red velvet song. My bike, let's go. That squeak is just there's something that I, I don't know. The way she's writing it also makes it a little bit uh, difficult for me to sit here and be like, this is, this is about her going pedal to the metal, doing her own thing, you know, just uh, being herself, unleashing her wild side and whatnot. Uh, uh, the stairs and everything, you know, uh, it's, it's regardless, this is a very captivating uh, song. It's very addictive. It's uh, her visuals are absolutely mesmerizing. This does make me kind of uh, feel a bit bad about the fact that I didn't check her out earlier because uh, she uh, she's stunning. Abs absolutely, haven't seen stunning in 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 months now. That's nice. The 
switch up here is really I mean ah. kind of like this section is like almost like the the climax but also getting down and dirty but not in in that way in this scene with the bicycle and there's all of these uh, television screens and there's like some type of a recorder there's what seems to be like a computer uh, there's there's like a server behind her like i'm not really sure she's powering it all obviously she's she's the generator like She turns uh, everything on. Notice how I didn't say everyone because I'm trying to be respectful. She's the source of energy. Okay, this is, th that's okay. She's literally getting higher. You're tripping lower. I'm not gonna talk about it because uh, you know uh, that uh, it, even if I had something to say, I feel like watching this music video twice made me forget about anything that I would have uh, want to have said. I I feel completely kind of you know bamboozled in a way. So overall, this was a really, really cool music video, and I cannot get over her squeaking sound during that chorus. Visually, this was uh, quite captivating, although a little bit too strong on the strobing, because even for someone like me who doesn't need a seizure warning, uh, maybe it's just uh, Chung Ha who kind of got me a little bit uh, bamboozled, because uh, I definitely wasn't expecting such uh, a ride. No pun intended, but uh, this was really, really cool. Let's get into her actual comeback with Sparkling, which seemed completely different from Bicycle. Mm, more fishes, much like in Bicycle, there was like an aquarium behind her. Okay, she's gorgeous either way, but... Was that the sound of uh, of a soda can being opened or a sparkling water? Oh, 
Oh, I love the way the camera uh, followed her hand. Sparkling, bubbly, very cool. how to do a catchy chorus for sure diamonds you can trust me trust me you make me sparkle in every way sparkling water bubbles you know diamonds everything that fucking you know sparks uh, come on this is this is very very smart very clever play on spark sparkling This first, uh, first of all, I'm so blown away by the fact that she just did two completely opposite styles, and yet both the first one and the second style sounds like something that she is just used to doing. So that's kudos to her. She was incredibly adorable, which is amazing in contrast to her first, to her bicycle music video. I like the play on sparkling as if like water, spar sparkling water, sp Parks, the bubbles, uh, the uh, the diamonds that you know, every, anything that creates a spark in any in any sense, uh, which you make me sparkle. The sound of a uh, soda being popped is very clever as well. Like all of these different elements of the actual world word sparkling uh, is very very cool. Like you make me feel a certain way, but in so many different. You make me sparkle, but in so many different ways, which is very, very, very clever. Kind of reminds me of Nyon's pop and the way pop just uh, is represented in so many different ways, whether it's the lollipop, everything is popping, all of these popping transitions and whatnot, uh, even down to the part where, you know, uh, I'm Nyon, she throws her jacket to create an apostrophe in her name to say I'm Nyon instead of just being like it's her name. Uh, which was really, really clever and something that I noticed only after I uh, finished recording the video. This was really, really cool. Visually, it was it was beautiful. The editing was much more relaxed as opposed to Bicycle, where the editing really went all out. There was a lot of fast cuts. There was a lot of strobing. Uh, both of these styles complement her very well, but I can definitely... If I could guess, I would say that this is the style that she is more known for, whereas Bicycle was, was probably somewhat of a departure from her usual style. So let's have a look at the lyrics, even though the chorus was, uh, it had some English in it, so it, it, it's fairly self-explanatory, I'm guessing, but uh, let's take it back and have another watch.
This is very interesting. Uh, carefully so it won't explode, so it won't disappear like a bubble. As literally, there's bubble later in this music video as well. I'm guessing so uh, carefully, like so the love doesn't explode, the feelings don't explode, and don't disappear like a bubble. Uh, don't burst it. Uh, don't burst that. This fantasy. It's almost like she's entering like this fantasy land. Uh, that is a, 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 a kind of a love story, but it's almost like this, in a way, kind of like this aquarium, only incredibly fancy. There's something so mesmerizing about that look that she gives you. You know what these two music videos remind me of? Margot Robbie's uh, Harley Quinn. There's a meme that says when you first meet her versus when you got to know her. So this is when you first meet her. She's so sparkling. She's just positive and just wonderful. But then you get to know her and that's when kind of things get a little bit uh, chaotic. Obviously, if I had to pick one song between this or Bicycle, I would pick Bicycle because it's more of my style in terms of the musical arrangement and I'm making all kinds of excuses just so I could watch that music video again and her visuals there. But seriously, though, uh, that the arrangement, uh, the vocal melodies, the rapping and everything, uh, everything just uh, really worked out beautifully. Literally birds singing as in like positivity, love, like love at first sight and whatnot. Yeah, literally she's almost as if falling asleep like a dream when you look at me. So literally like this whole video is almost like this... Uh, this dream where um, you think about that one person that makes you feel a certain way. And yet she still says towards the end of this uh, verse, I need something more exciting. Tell me what to do. She always wants somebody to tell her what to do to that special someone. Is she all of this time talking to that fish in the beginning of the music video? Uh, <laughs> very interesting. This is very cool. She also says, you make me sparkle, but also I'll be your sparkle. Love is in the air, I guess. And then there's literal sparks towards the end of the song and, and, and its climax and, and everything. In a way, it's almost like the same theme, but done in a completely different way. Whereas with Bicycle, she also shows a ton of sass in terms of her, like saying, I'm the baddest. I'm the sickest or I'm the baddest, something like that, like really standing her ground and being like, you cannot handle me and uh, being like, I'm, I'm better than everyone else, like really showing a, a lot of sass and, and cockiness and confidence, whereas here it's done in such a fairy tale ish type way, which is also very, a, a very cool contrast to, to see that this is the same artist is is kind of crazy especially back to back now diving deeper and there's the sparks nice so it's almost as if like 
they both fell for each other and went for this ride. Dove deep into the relationship. This is very interesting. And yeah, she's pretty much like fantasizing. Like this whole scene, this whole music video is almost like this fantasy that she's having as she's looking at this fish in this aquarium. This was uh, really wonderful. It, it was uh, such an interesting contrast between the, the two personalities, I would say, of uh, Chunha. Absolutely wonderful. Obviously, I, I, I like this song quite a bit. It's definitely very positive and optimistic and it kind of makes you smile at the same time if i had to choose which song i absolutely loved between those two i would pick bicycle even if i just had to listen to them without actually looking at the music video uh just the the, the darkness and the haunting vibe that that video that song has is is quite mesmerizing and her vocals are just uh, I can't get over that squeaking sound that she does it, it, it was crazy to see this contrast I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did let me know in the comment section down below I hope you guys so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did let me know in the comment section down below make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and I will catch you all in the next one see ya